This is Amy Zimmer from Hall & Hunter Realtors with your home tip of the week. The ultimate dilemma. You've been searching forever for a home to no avail, and suddenly now you've found not only one, but two perfect properties. How do you decide when your heart is being pulled two ways during such a monumental and likely time-sensitive decision? Which one to choose? If you're lucky enough to find two or more amazing homes and you just can't decide which one to put an offer on, here are some tips to help you make the decision. Start by analyzing and evaluating the properties side by side for their pros and cons. It may be a good time to revisit your wants and needs wish list for homes as well. Compare both homes to determine if your current and future location situation would help rule one out. Consider travel time to work and school. Shorter commutes can save a bundle and gas and give you more free time for family, friends, and other fun things. It's also important to look at the school district if that applies to your family situation. Take a real good look at the neighborhoods the homes are located in. Is it a good fit for your lifestyle? What is the proximity to stores, restaurants, and hobbies you like to participate in? Is it mainly families, singles, or professionals? Do you have the ability to walk, ride bikes? And are the streets safe or are there suitable yards to play in? Is it quiet at night or is there a business nearby that may disturb you? What's the air quality? Living near a farm may seem like a novel idea until the wind blows. If the location is the same for both homes, which house is now or will be more affordable in the long run? Don't just base your decision on the sale price of the home since you'll likely be looking in a similar price range for both. But be sure to think about the future maintenance needs of each home. One may require an expensive repair in the near future while the other may not. Also consider how the heating system affects the price as gas will be cheaper, cheaper than electric or oil. And over the course of 30 years or so, that can make a huge difference to your budget. If the location and price are similar, it's time to look at what you really want. Which house has the bells and whistles you need? What items on your wish list do you really need to make your life easier and more comfortable? Do you need a garage for storage and keeping the car out of the weather? Or a big yard for play and entertaining? Consider also the size of the yards and gardens. Do you have the time, equipment, and desire to take care of it? Run down that initial list and talk to your buyer's agent about what you have discussed in the past and see which home fills more of the boxes. And also think about the things that you didn't really want. After all the pros and cons have been laid out, you really need to decide which home makes you the happiest. And if there isn't a natural winner, go with your gut and with your heart. Odds are you got the sentimental feeling when you viewed at least one of them. So which one just feels more like home? Can you picture yourself raising a family there? Can you picture yourself being there by yourself? Can you see your furniture in the space? Can you visualize the backyard parties with friends? Whatever it is, choose the one that just feels right and you really can't go wrong. Also, remember not to take too much time assessing the homes as you don't want someone else to swoop in and make an offer while you're still de debating which one to choose. Good luck and happy home buying.